down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. That's where SpongeBob lives. Oh, it's Mom. Flashback time. What's the matter, dearie? Can't you sleep? <laughs> no, Mum. You're still upset about your little fight with Gemma, eh? Oh, you've been fighting. She started it. She hit me for no reason. All I did was draw eyebrows on Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, don't laugh. Look at this great big lunch she's given me. I see it. Yeah, you'll survive, and kid. I saw the one on her head, too. You gave her that, didn't you? Oh, boy, you hit a girl. Yeah. <laughs> now you listen to me, my lad. There'll be plenty of times in your life when people upset you and you feel like lashing out. But no matter how much it hurts, and no matter how much you want to hurt them back, you don't go looking for revenge. You do what's right. I, I want to be friends with Jabber again, Mum. What should I do? Why, you talk to her, of course, you big silly. Ask her what she was feeling and why she did what she did. Try to see things from her point of view. Once you've done that, the rest is easy. You just smile and hold out your hand. That's my boy. Now, time for bed. Night, night, Mum. Night, night, son. Don't you worry about a thing now. It'll all be all right in the morning. Good night. Sleep tight. Child of Yggdrasil. The sun... It is sleeping. Oops. I didn't want the, the screen to go dark, so I, I moved it to try to keep it from... twinkling eyes to ward off the darkness till dawn arrives. Have you found him yet? What? Not yet, master. Our forces have scoured the four corners of the world. But the Luminary is nowhere to be found. He is dead then. Good. If that is the case. Then this world is mine. Yo, what happened to me? Wait a minute, what? The Mermaid Queen. Mordigan has played his hand. The game is all but won. A shroud of deepest darkness has eclipsed the shining sun. And yet, amid the shadows, glimmer tiny specks of light. Faint, flickering flames that rage against the coming of the night. How can mm. such sparks of hope remain? When darkness rules the land, now evil reigns supreme. Who has the strength to take a stand? Who indeed? In search of hope. More big cutscenes. All the towns are just destroyed. 
So Vando washed up on the beach? What, what happened? Where, where am I? I'm alive. But how? Hey. Sylve! Sylve! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Sylve! Stay with me, Sylve. Guess we're all separated now. Oh, there you are. You right, Sylph? Hmm? Oh, oh, sure, Davy, honey. I, I was just getting a little air. Being cooped up in that cabin was driving me crazy, you know. Oh, come on, Sylph. Cheer up, will ya? I don't think I can take much more of this moping. Do they, does he not remember what happened? That day, when I'm Mordegon... There was nothing I could do. He was just too powerful. I thought it was the end for me. For all of us. But this... This is worse than death. To wake up and find everybody gone. And the world consumed by darkness. I'm sorry, Dave, but I just... I can't do this. I know I should feel lucky to be alive, but without the others... I'm nothing. Nobody. Right. That's enough of that. Huh? <laughs> Move! Have you lost your bleeding marbles? Since when were them mates of yours the types to let some Lord of Shadows numpty get the better of them, eh? <laughs> How about you have a bit of bleeding faith in them like you used to? Or did you think saving the world was going to be easy or something? Uh-oh. He's letting them know. Oh, Davy, darling. You're right. <clears throat> If a slip of a thing like me was able to get out of that tangle with Mordagon alive, then the others must have done too. And here I am feeling sorry for myself instead of getting out there and trying to find them. What would Veronica and Eric say if they saw me like this? <laughs> That's more bleeding like it. It's good to have you back, me old mucker. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, it's good to be back, believe me. Now, enough chit chat. It's time for action. We need to make land at the nearest port and find out just how much of a mess the world is in. And once we've done that, we can make a start on fixing it. Sounds like a plan, sir. Nearest arbor to here would be over in Gondolia. I'll plot a course right away. That sounds just perfect, honey. Anchors away! Hoist the mainsail! Gondolia, here we come! All right. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. We are on the way. But the tree's dead, so... Poor Gondolia. I'd, I'd believe this used to be a busiest, most bustling trading port in the whole wide world, ain't it? I mean, it is surprising I think that when a lovely, lively place like this falls on hard times, well, it's just sad, that's all. Still no use in moping, I suppose. Come on, Silver, so have a mooch around and see what the locals have got to say for themselves, shall we? Alright. Oh, if I were, you must be careful. The beastly boys. They see you, you're a traveler, and they attack you immediately, Sabitor. 
already stealing the knapsack of a man who just arrived in town. I see him walk to the uh, piazza after it happened. He looks so, so sad. Huh. Wait, maybe. Maybe that's, uh... Maybe that's our old buddy. See him know that man who stares at the sea? He looks so sad, Alora. I tried to sing a happy song for him. Ba la la gondolia, ba la la. Okay, okay. He's talking about this guy? Bad day? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, hun. It happens to us all. Mm -hmm. Oh. You're one of those minstrel types, are you? <laughs> Look, if it's money you want, you'd better go and hassle someone else. I haven't got a penny to give you. Sorry, darling. No can do. It's against my policy to leave people all alone when they look as down in the dumps as you do. <sighs> look, why don't you just tell me what's on your mind? A problem shared is a problem halved. Hmm? That's better. Now we can talk properly. Silvando, entertainer extraordinaire at your service. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, my name's Tetsu. I'm a blacksmith from Hotto, though I haven't been back in a long old while. I'll tell you my story if you really want, but I'm warning you, it doesn't have a happy ending. We kind of just went through a, an unhappy ending. After all those years away, I thought it was time for me to finally head home. See how my mother was doing, you know. But then the minute I set out on my journey, Yggdrasil fell. That just made me even more desperate to get back, of course. I was so worried about her. I managed to make it as far as Gondolia, but then my luck finally ran out. My luggage was stolen by a gang of thieves who've been terrorizing the town. The Beastly Boys, they call themselves. <laughs> I can't beastly make the boys. journey to Hotter the beastly boys. all my things. Especially not the lilies of the valley I bought for my mother. They're her favorite flower. I wanted to give them to her to say, well, to say sorry for being away for so long, for leaving her all alone. <laughs> <sighs> oh, honey, believe me, I know exactly how you feel. Fear not, friend. Your mother will get her flowers. Dave and I will make sure of that. All you need to do is tell us where we can find these beastly boys. Oh, well, if you're sure, there are two merchants, brothers, who run establishments in the southern part of town. I've heard that the Beastly Boys have been hanging around causing trouble at the older one's stall. A stall in the south of town, huh? All right, we'll be back before you know it. Dave, darling, let's roll. All right, headed south. Let's go, big guy. Wait. Look, I appreciate you trying to help me, but these are real thugs we're talking about here. And no offense, but you're just an entertainer, right? I wouldn't want you That's to... That's what you think! <laughs> oh, don't you worry about me, sweetie. I'm more than just a pretty face, you know? Don't worry, man. We got you. All right, wait. Going south. All right, come on. Ah. <laughs> 
on the west side. What? Wait, is this there? Private conversation here. Clear off. See why you caught yourself the beastly boys and enough for the tough guy act. I know we're tattooed snapsack before I have to get nasty. You picked the uh, guys to clown around with. If you think we're giving anything back, then you really are stupid as you look. If you want it, you're gonna have to take it. That's the way the world works these days. Show us what you got, funny man. Get him, boys. Oh, come on. This is this. Really? Room for our little ones. Oh, so. He's gonna fight? Oh, no, he's gonna fight on his own. Okay. This can't be that hard of a uh, fight. There you go. Leave it to me. Oh, please. Please, no. Some randoms. Alright, one down. <laughs> Dolphin jump! I got a shield. This. What? Come on, Dave. Oh, nice. Use that shield, dude. All that's left is the leader. He's a big move here. And they're down. Little punks. 